Hi guys. Sorry I'm a little bit late. Um hey, I'm off work and I had a crazy tragedy at one of my customers. Um there was actually an electrocution at one of my clients, so I just got off the phone handling that. So sorry. <clears throat> and my voice is totally disappearing. Um for those of you that have known I have a speech disorder called spasmodic dysphonia and it's totally killing me right now so I'm gonna try and struggle through this um if you're on I see some of you getting on thank you if you're on please go ahead and say hey so I can see who's all on here so I know who to talk to so um and if anybody's asking if you should get lash extend yes 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 you need to get lash extend hey Amanda so, <clears throat> hey Jan, so if I'm talking weird, I'm sorry, I'm totally struggling. Do not be afraid to ask questions. Um, I'm really sorry that this is a 3.30 and a lot of you are still at work. Sorry. Hmm. Sorry, not sorry. But maybe just use that as motivation to kick ass. So maybe you could work um, and be home for noon, noon or 11 o'clock videos. Um, I am going to try and be short, one, because I don't know that my voice is going to last, and two, I know when I see a video and I'm like, oh, it's 30 minutes, it's 40 minutes, nobody has time for that, um, because I know I have like 20 videos of Diane saved that I'm like, oh, I'm going to go watch them sometime, I swear. Yes, Erin, wine at 3.30, I'm late, sorry, but yeah, I'm going to try and keep this short, um, so if you have questions, don't be afraid to post them. I may say that we'll answer them later if the call's getting too long because I hate when people see a video and they're like, oh, I want to watch that. But I don't have time because I don't have time. Um, hey, Kara. Are you at work, Kara? Haha. <laughs> so, <clears throat> um, we are going to talk about how to get engagement in your group. And I'm trying to dry my hair because I have to leave the house in like five minutes as soon as I get off this call. Um, so, engagement in your group. Who is having issues with engagement in your group? And who just wants to see what crazy thing I'm going to say on the call? Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. I don't know if Diane's getting on. I'm not very good at giving times because I hate committing because my days never go as planned. Days never, ever, ever go as planned. I'm off work. I had all this shit lined up. And of course, none of it went as planned. But that's just my days. Thanks, Samantha. Thanks, Molly. Thanks, Mary. Mary, are you new? Sorry, this team is growing so fast and crazy. It's hard to keep track of anybody. Everybody, but Diane is just <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. There's about 10 of you on here, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. So thank you for joining me. Um, this is episode episode three of Jenny Lynn Videos, Jenny Lynn Weekly Videos. Um, we're going to talk about engagement. Um, engagement is super, super, super important. First of all, what is it? Engagement is people responding to your post, okay? It is super awesome if people see your post. That might like them, but you need to engage in them. You need to get people engaging with you. That's what you want, and that's how you get sales. If you are a brick and mortar business, it is great if someone walks by your store, right? So that's what happens when someone sees your post, they scroll past it. They're walking by your store. Okay, so they see your post and they stop, they're coming in your store. They see your store, they stop, they come in and walk around. They pick up a shirt, they put it back down. That's someone liking your post. Now, finally, someone comes in your store, sees it, walks around, picks up a shirt, and you, the seller, starts talking to them about how that shirt matches that purse and that's that belt, and that's all new, and why don't I help you go into the dressing room? All of a sudden, they're talking to you. They're saying, well, I have a date tonight. I want to get a new outfit. They're engaged. That's engagement. So you need someone to stop at your post, look at it, like it and talk, okay? Engagement. You have to act like this is a real business. That's engagement. 
So ways to get engagement. There are three things you can do on Facebook. You can have a personal page, you can have a like page, and you can have a group. You need to post sometimes on your personal page. That is how people are going to know what you're doing, and that's how you're going to add new people. You do not want to post just in your group because you're going to just be posting to the same people every time. You need to get new attraction. Um, you can do a like page, but you are not going to get nearly as much traffic on a like page. Just for is to do a group. You need to do a group. And you also need to often post on your personal page and invite people to join your group. So once you have a group and you have people in there, you need to post two to four times a day. Stop right now if you're saying, I don't want to annoy people. Because that's what I hear all the time. You are not annoying people. First of all, even in your group, you have a targeted audience, which is good. When you have people in your group, instead of being unlimited to the billions of people on Facebook, they're in that group, they're more targeted. But 80% of your people, 80% of your people still only see 20% of your post. Okay? And it drives me crazy because I will find, I'll see someone like a post that I posted three days ago. I'm like, it took it three days to show up in their feed. It probably didn't show up in their feed. It probably was them going back to my group and scrolling. So post two to four times a day. Do not be afraid because people won't see it. People are not seeing your post. Then what you need to know, and what I do is people will like, well, I don't have time to think of post. I don't know what to post. First of all, you're wearing lip sense. You're sharing it. You're selling it. You're already doing it. So all you have to do is, is post that. Okay. It doesn't always have to be sales. I have three things I like to do or four things I like to do a day. And not always in the same order. I mix it up. You want to post, um, what you're wearing that day because you want to show people how it actually looks on you. You want to get people excited. You want to share what you're selling. You want to share a fact, a fact about the product and not always just about lip sense. You need to go, now is the time to go into the other products. Okay, so you need to go into the other products. Then, something fun. Okay, something fun and it doesn't have to be set agents related at all. So you want to post two to four times a day in your group your color, what you're selling, a fact, and um, something fun, okay? So those are the things that you want to post. Now, so you you have your group, you're posting, you're inviting. Now you want to, just because you're posting does not mean people are engaging. How do you get people engaged? How do you get people to respond and answer to you? So um, why aren't people engaging? Why aren't people engaging? Now, before I go into the rest of this, Take me with a grain of salt, because while I was thinking about this call, I was like, fuck, Jen, you're not doing that. Jen, fuck, you know how to do that. You're not doing that either. So this has been a great refresher. You're supposed to do what I'm not doing. So take it with a grain of salt. Everything I'm telling you, I'm telling myself right now. Okay. Um, if you are not engaging, if you are not engaging your people, if they're not responding to your post, if they're not answering your questions, I have to tell you this is why. You're boring. Sorry, that's the truth. If people are not responding, you are boring. Did you ever hear, um, what did they say? Sorry, not they're just not that into you. Okay? We are all selling the same product. We all can do the selfies. We can all copy and paste. But you're boring. You need to get people to respond and you need to do something different. It doesn't have to be crazy different, but you need to expand a little bit. And I'm boring too. Remember, I'm telling myself this. I'm like, fuck. Because sometimes I'm like, okay, I need my third person for the day. It's going to be a fact. I don't have time. So I'm going to slap shit up there. Well, guess what? Every time I just slap something up there, nobody responds because I'm boring. Okay. So what I have found is even when I post a selfie, I'm asking a question. And it might not even be about the look. I might ask, what do you see my shoes I have on today? Get people talking. Get people like interested in your day. If you have kids, involve your kids, please. That's huge. Pets are huge. Um, always ask a question. Always ask a question. Tell people where you're going. Say, hey, I'm going out um, to XYZ restaurant. It's my favorite restaurant. What's your favorite restaurant? Hey, um, 
It's Thirsty Thursday. What's your favorite drink? Um, get people excited. Show people that you're interested in them. Be interested in other people. This isn't just about you and your product. Um, that's what people will get talking. Um, lip sense. The more conversation you get on your post, the more comments that are on your post, the more people that are going to see it. So even if people are like you have your selfie up there, but everybody's talking about um, the Penguins game. So don't you say, hey, the Penguins won. Say, hey, the Penguins won. Um, I'm wearing this color. Look at my fucking color. Hey, who else loves the Penguins? What's your favorite team? Do you even watch sports? Ask those kind of questions just to get the post engagement. It doesn't matter if the engagement is about sentences or not. The point is to get people to your store, right? Get people to your store. Um, Erin had a huge event in her store. Um, Erin, let's, oh, God, Erin, not Erin. Amanda, sorry, Amanda. Amanda had a, um, yes, Jennifer. She said she posted with a great day and licking her face. That's what people want to see. Um, our professional pictures are often are awesome. Our good lighting pictures are awesome. But people love that picture where your dog is slobbering all over your face and your fucking lip sense is shining through it. That's what people like to see. Do you know, can you guess this week on my personal page and my group, my two posts that got the most engagement. The two posts that got the most engagement in my group was the one where I asked who your favorite hot guy is. And people shared that. No one shared any of my selfies with my lip sense this week, but somebody shared my post about hot guys. Then on my personal page, this week, my most engaged post was my post about where to buy the best hanging plant. That was my most engaged post this week. But guess what? It's bringing people to my page. It's bringing engagement. And it's bringing the more times my page comes up, the more times... um. People are going to see my things and my products. So you want to get engagement even if it's not on topic, okay? Um, one of the things we learned in another MLM is you don't always have to, to always be wearing the product. Always have the product on. And if, but if you're talking about your shirt, your car, I posted that I was in. I can get a ton. I can get a ton of likes. likes on my car. my husband's car. I will get a ton of engagement on that. And if five people that go to my car post and ask me about what lipstick I have on, it worked. So engage people. Be interesting. Be different. Get likes and dislikes. Um, you need to do that. Don't just, and I'm sorry, we all do it. I do it. Don't just say, lip color of the day, selfie, see ya. Your people know you're going to do that every day. Um, unless you have some, like, freaking crazy color, um, or unless you're Jamie Ward and just beautiful every single second not that you guys are all beautiful i i mean i could name a million names right now um but you know what i mean like we need and i do it i do it too we need you need to ask a question you need to ask a question every single time you post what the hell is someone commenting on your post if you say nothing if you say nothing on your post what are people going to comment on you need to ask a question the other thing is people love to give their opinion Okay, people like polls, people like voting. I love those little ones where like, um, here's an outfit, what color would you wear? Those are great. People love those. Okay, um, so do polls. Polls are huge. Do voting. Okay, the other thing is games. I hate those freaking games. I hate what's in your purse, what's this, what's that. Um... But people love that. I actually went and found a shit ton of them and I posted them in my private group because you all have your own private group. group now, right? We're all in on. But if you have downlines, you should have your own group. You need to engage, which is another part of engagement is engaging your team, which we'll talk about in a second. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Wine time. Oh, I was blogging. So you need to engage people. Uh, so, oh, if you do selfies every day, which is fine, here's some selfie tips. Um, be professional at times, but then throw something crazy out there, or like the dog thing, or something that's just like abnormal that's gonna not in your nature to grab attention. But also, if you're every day 
My posties on my my on my sidewalk. It's in my car. It's at my office. Switch it up because they're just gonna every day when people scroll. There's there's so and so in their office again. There's so and so in their office again. There's so and so in their office again. There's so and so. You guys have a life. You guys have freaking awesome life. Is show it off. Um, switch up your post your selfie location. I don't care if you pick different places in your house. Do it in your weight room. Do it out in your pool. Oh, I cannot wait till we test set engines in my pool this summer. That's where it's all going to be. And wait till me and Diane have our week together. Shit is going to go crazy. Shit is going crazy. Um, That's all another story. So switch up your selfie locations because you don't want people seeing the same thing every day. How do they even know it's a different picture? How do they know it's a different color? Okay, you have to make someone stop. Th- your, your light's movable. You will look best everywhere. Um, yes, I did not wear sunscreen and got sunburned. Sorry, Erin. We will work on that because Senegens has an awesome sunscreen, so we'll have to use it. Um, so, yes, switch up where you do your selfie. Also, I suggested this before, and I still highly suggest it. If you don't like this for your group, so be it. If you are posting selfies on other people's groups, which you should do, and I encourage, and please feel free to do my, in my group, which is Lips and Sips, please find the first selfie of the day and put it in the comments. Do not post a new post, okay? People are already struggling to get through the noise. They're struggling to get through the noise. And it is awesome that 15 of us, 30 of us, 3 of us go post in someone else's group our selfie. But guess what? Those 30 extra selfies are keeping that person who owns that group's info hidden. People cannot get to it through the noise. It's good noise, but it needs to be organized noise. Okay? So I encourage you, if you're posting a selfie in a group, tag it on the first selfie of the day. And then it's actually better for customers because if they see it posted, they can just go to one post, go to the comments, and see all the different colors. I really highly, highly, highly recommend this. Again, if that's not how you want to roll in your group, so be it. But I encourage you, it's going to help the noise. And it's going to help the post. Please, please. Um, I asked you to do that in my group. I highly recommend it. Um, Please do it. We're getting lots of hearts for that. So it sounds like you guys like it too. Um, Oh, gosh. I have so much. And I said I keep this short, but I just get so excited. Um, but again, so engage your customers, engage your clients that I'm actually encouraging you to stop. And I need to do this too. Stop having sales. I'm not saying stop completely, but we're having a sale because the penguins won. We're giving 10% off because it's the weekend. We're giving 10% off because it's Friday. We're getting 10% off because we just want to fucking get rid of our inventory. You are degrading the value of your product. And guess what? You're not having sales Monday through Friday because people are like, shit, I know she's going to have a sale Saturday. I know that it's she's going to have a Memorial Day sale. I know. So people are going to stop buying because they know you're going to give 10% off. And you know what else they're going to start thinking? They're going to start thinking, um, why? Jeez. Why are these $25 if Jen can take $5, $10, 10% off, 15% off all the time? What the hell? Why is she upcharging me so much when they're just always on sale? Sorry, but it's like Kohl's. I wonder about that by Kohl's, and I love Kohl's, so sorry. And actually, they have a lawsuit out right now because they think, other companies think that they just up their prices so that they can always be on sale. Everything is always on sale at Kohl's, right? So there's... It's like, no big deal. You're like, oh, I'll get my 10%. I'll, I'll get, go get my Kohl's cash soon. Um, yes, I like this. Amanda says, we offer liquid gold. Don't devalue the product with sales all the time. Yes. And that's what I tried saying. You are devaluing your product. Um, you're limiting your sales. You're, you're selling because people will wait till you have a discount. And you're degrading the value of your product. So please, I'm guilty of a two because I get excited and... I get mad if I'm not selling some, but it's, it's not, you're not selling because of the price. You're not, not selling, not, not selling, um, because you're not engaging, get the engagement, do the sales for special occasions. Okay. I get it. Stop selling. Stop. I'm not stop selling. Stop having sales. Please do it. Yes. Amanda, 
They expect those sales and they're going to not buy from you when you're not in a sale because they're like, eh, show up a sale next week, I'll wait, okay? And if you have inventory to get rid of, trade. Go trade. I fucking, you want to see what I have right now? Um, Yeah, yes, I mean, Heidi, it doesn't change the quantity of sales because those people were going to buy. They're just waiting. Look what I got. Where is it? I'm out of control. Look what I got trading Plumeria. Secret. That's party pink. Look what I got trading apple cider. Boom. Look what I got trading pink champagne. That's peace pink. Okay. So if you have inventory on your mind, you're like, oh, I'm going to have a sale so I get rid of this inventory. Go trade. Because guess what? When stuff is um, back in stock, can you tell I have my ring light over here and not over there? When stuff is back in stock, you're not going to be able to trade. Because people are going to have it and they're not going to trade with you because they can just buy it themselves. Fucking trade the shit out of now. Trade the shit out of stuff. Okay. Stopping sales. So get your engagement to sell product instead of having sales. The other thing that you need to do is you need to engage with your team. Your, your downlines. I do not care if you have one downline or 30. Engage with them. Always engage with them. And if you have multiple lines, which I know a ton of you do, which is awesome, engage with them. Engage with your second, third, fourth, fifth. Okay? That's why we have our own group. Um, because Diane is so freaking crazy and she's awesome with communicating. But you don't want to lose that personal touch. You don't want less someone to get lost. Not everyone... It's crazy like me. I'm going to just say anything to anybody and ask anybody. Some people secretly are suffering, frustrated, have questions, and they're afraid to ask. Engage your team. Ask them questions. Okay? Have contest. Um, if you don't already have your own team group, if you're not already people competing for most volume, you should already have your team be competing for top recruiter. Engage your team as well. Um, so you need to, like I said, you need to have a group. You need to post two to four times a day and stop worrying about, worry about, um, annoying because 80% only see 20% of your post. You need to post consistently. Do not skip days. Do not skip days. And don't just slap shit up. Don't slap shit up. Have value added. Add value to people's lives. Okay. Um, the other thing I would do, besides my two to four a week, have at least one live a week. One live a week. Do it. One of my girls was frustrated because she had not sold anything for eight days. We told her to go live. She sold six colors. Go live at least once a week. The other thing that you need to do is do a tutorial. You guys know so much shit outside the world. I am, like, the least uncrafty person in the world. If you're a crafty person and color yarn mason jars or something do a tutorial on that if you i did a hair teasing tutorial which may not be a positive thing because i look like an 80s person sometimes you guys all have your own talents let that shine someone in your group will want it so do tutorials on what you're good with do a food prep tutorial do a weightlifting tutorial do a uh getting organized cleaning the house scheduling, how to get my kid ready to get out the door in less than five minutes, um, how to prep vegetables, how to make, do a good flower organization. Kara, Kara made these awesome wine glasses for our wedding as a gift. Fucking do a tutorial on that. You guys have talents. I would love to hear some of your talents because I guarantee you, you could do a tutorial and people will watch. People YouTube shit all the time. And if you don't have a YouTube channel, do it now. All of your live videos, I'm currently in the process of copying all of my live videos <clears throat> from my groups onto my YouTube page. But do tutorials. Doesn't have to be related. You want to add value to people's lives, okay? Um, so go live, do tutorials, post two to four times a day, ask questions, do polls, um, do voting, do questions, um, engage your people, get them to respond. Stop doing so many sales. Okay. Have fun. Add humor, add humor, have fun. 
um, you can use other people's videos, but don't share from their page. Go download the video and then post it. That's better. You don't want to direct people. Um, how to clean your house by Diane. Diane's answer would be hire a nanny. So that's not a very long tutorial, Diane. Just saying. Um, we always have those talents. Do that. Mine, like, if you know how to parallel park, really good. Go do tutorial on that because I can't. I just had to have someone else parallel park at Amanda's event the other day because I couldn't get there. Um, yeah, we're laughing at Diane because that's how she would clean her house. Yes, Diane's lesson. Step one, sign up to sell lip sense. Step two, sell the shit out of it. Step three, hire a house cleaner. That's it. That's my life. Mine's a chauffeur. That's what I'm waiting for. I'm going to get that blue car very soon. I hope I'm next. And I'm going to have to hire a chauffeur for it because I'm a horrible driver. Um, But find stuff that people like. People like kids. People like cars. Um, like I said, I get a ton of, oh, and do funny stuff and get your kids, get your spouse. My next post, I think like I kind of make fun of my husband a lot or like our relationship, um, how my five foot nothing. Kind of like rules my, so my life, like my little person rules my husband. So my next thing is. Like, I'm going to chase my husband around with... Well, Dan kind of did it. She did it, like, with Jason. She was, like, real sweet and was, like... Mm -hmm. And, you know, her lipstick didn't come off. Mine is literally, like, me... My husband going to be over here and me, like, climbing up on him because I can't even get to him. Like, climbing like a monkey up to get up to his cheek because he's just going to stand there and roll his eyes and be like, what are you doing now? Um, and that'll be my, my video. Do it your own way, but go big. Be funny. Let your personality shine. Um... Diane is always like, ha, 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 laugh out loud. You're so funny. And I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Um, if only she saw me like every day. My husband just doesn't even know what to do with me anymore. Okay. So I'm getting off track. Um, but I just like talking to you guys. And I have to go somewhere after this. And I don't really want to go anywhere. So engage your people. Ask questions. Oh, and ask questions that, like about them. If they respond about something and they say, hey, um, I'm going to karate class. Oh, really? Oh, you want to go to karate? karate? How long? You know what I mean? Engage them. Ask them questions back. So try and do that too. Um, that's a great way. Start conversations. Start conversations in Facebook. Okay. Um, that's another thing too. Don't just say, "Oh, cool, have fun." Usually they say open ended, so that people will have to respond. If you just say, "Oh, cool, ha okay, cool, have fun," conversation over. If you say, "Oh my gosh, you're going to karate. How long have you done that?" They're going to respond. That's engagement. And the more engagement your post has, the more people see it. So the better productive and the better you're going to do. So I hope this helped a little bit. I hope it was a good topic. Um, I guess we we're a little more calmer on this call than the last one. I must be. Um, getting less energetic in my old age. So, hope you guys have a great holiday weekend. Uh, want to see engagement? See engagement. I want to see that over the next couple of days. Diana is going to be watching. Um, love you guys. Thank you very much for letting me be part of this. Listening to what I have to say. I hope it helps. Um, if you have more comments or suggestions on engagement after this or questions, um, definitely post for that. Everybody has suggestions and help. Hey, Sam, I miss you. I miss you, Sam. Um, so you guys have a great holiday weekend. I am going to get ready to go. I'm probably going to be late. I'm suddenly late to everything. Um, so thank you very much. See you guys. Bye.